I'm Limwell Gulliver. I have a girlfriend, a supporting family when I was a child. In fact, I was playful back then. And my life is perfect. Until now. It all started in my bachelor's party at my house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May the first cream pie be the first shot! Um, Woo! I'm happy for your presence and your support. Uh, may you have a joyful evening. Yay! 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 On my way back to Malandita's house. I was drunk, riding a bike, and I hit a couple of obstacles. <laughs> I finally woke up, and while my eyes were blurry, I was hearing these irritating noises of children circling around me. Can be. They're finally awake. Me. Simple 
as can be. La, 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 sing a happy song. La, 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 smurf the whole day long. Smurf along with me. Simple as can be. You are guys at far side. <laughs> The next day, when I got my senses back, I tried to escape the Lilliputians. I was escaping. I ran into some of these tragic problems. I crashed. Good afternoon, Rob Lipnaders. As of yesterday, our sales went up by 100%. Great job. We are now getting richer every month. That will be all, everyone. As I work in the office, there were some employees who hated me and kind of what? insecure of me. And they sometimes toy with me. Thank you. 
Sir wants to see you. Hey. Yeah. I'm ready to help you, sir. Little guy here. Oh, um, you're not the head of the CEO. Who are you and how may I help you? You can help me big time. Join me against the whole company. What? Why? No. You can say no to me. You can say no to money. Come on. Let's work together. I heard everything about your conversation. And you are fired. Get out of this room. You? Get back to work, Kaito. and left my bicycle with them. This tragic event left me wandering around in the middle of nowhere. But after some time, I walked up to this place and wandered inside. <laughs> Thank you. 
place and I put them here. Somebody, somebody just got kind of um, I kind of got lost in this place. So I hold up here and I'm planning to leave it now. Can I? Sure. I'll accompany you to the chief library. Thank you. Due to my boredom, I really wanted to escape La Puta. So, I met this guy, a quality man, who helped me escape La Puta. He escorted me out of the library. So I went downstairs and ended up in a place called ba Balni Barbie. Bal Why don't you come inside? Oh, so tell me your story, young lad. Yeah, I came from the Laputa place and I find it too boring because people were too smart and they don't answer my questions properly. Yeah. I see, you so those Laputans did that slap thing on you, huh? Well, I'm sorry about that. My name's King Monobi. I am the king of Bali Barbie. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry to call you like an old man and positioning like this in front of you. Yes. So, yeah, thank you for your kind things. And your house, and your house is beautiful. King Monobi. Monobi. Sorry to our king. Well, unfortunately, the outside land isn't as good as my home. Uh, really? Yes, but don't take my word for it. It's better if you find out yourself. Uh, Lego? Yes, like right now. Look and see the outside land. So while wandering Bonnie Barbie, I met their king called King Monodi. And King Monodi explained to me what is Bonnie Barbie about. And their stupid projects that Lagado what is doing. What the hell happened here? Lord Monadi, why is this place like this? It's a lot different than your home. Your place is warm and comfortable. This place is such a barren wasteland. Years ago, the people of Barney Barbie went to La Puta. Ever since they came back to Barney Barbie, the people established a great academy at Lagado. Our capital city for us to create projects in applying science and mathematics. Won't applying the theories of intelligent people of Laputa should have helped their people? I can say for myself, I'd better take a look at the ground that I'm living there. It's just that way. Just that way. As I opened the door to the Grand Academy of Lagado, I found the place full of amazing and interesting inventions. But, well, these aren't what I can say as inventions to ease the life of all of the ba Balnibar Balnibarbians or any group of people. These inventors have projects like to take sunbeams out of cucumbers, to turn human poo back into food, <laughs> to melt ice into gunpowder, to build houses from the roof down, to paint without sight but according to the texture and smell of the colors, to use pigs to plow fields, to use spider webs to replace silk threads, to change the force of the moon and sun so that we can combine weather vanes and sundials. Even other people's legado seem to have pointless experiments and projects. There are also people who think that women, women should be taxed depending on their beauty or people who think that words should be removed except for nouns to prolong life for limiting the words to be spoken of. Even the political professionals talk of nonsense things. I can't stand all of this anymore, so I found a sign that says, Look next, the place where you start your journey. And, and went to this place to grab a ride. At Look next, I tried asking for any vehicle for me to return to my home. Unfortunately, we don't have any with them. All were sold out. The next batch of vehicles will arrive after a day. When things seem at loss, I found a sign with Glob Dub Drip with a little bit of Come on, zombies! Move faster! 
I want my place to be fascinatingly majestic. How hard is this? Is it not some unquality work from dead people? Master, there is someone here who wants to see you. Says he's fascinated with your talent for so many of the dead. Boys. There is? Yes. Let him in then. Okay. Something. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Globe Dog Creek. I am the master of this land. Land of witches, magic, and sorcery. As you can see, these are all dead servants, and I have the power to summon them. And who are you, my dear fellow? I am Gulliver, my majesty. And I am fascinated with how you raise everyone from the dead. Ha! Huh, that's nothing. I am a powerful magician. As you can see, all of them are dead. That servant, that servant, and even this servant. Where did you come from, my fellow men? I was wandering around, and I have no vehicle. I came by this place, got fascinated by these servants of yours. So, they invited me in, then asked for you. Interesting. I'm fascinated. And for that, I will grant you one wish to summon any dead people from the dead. Hmm. How about Alexander the Great? Whoa! Alexander the Great is really alive. Told you so. Hey man, how do you know me? What's the big passion you have? Anyway, I'm from Macedonia. <laughs> I... I built the greatest empire. I, I, yeah, yeah. Mm, I know. I've learned that from History 101. Oh, Jesus. So, may I write some more? Sure. Who are those? After some small papers, the governor did some of our other dead people. There's Caesar, Partisan General Hannibal. Even the philosophers Aristotle and Plato, and the writer Homer. I really miss my home. I miss Malandita. Malandita, wait for me. I'll be back. Hey, Mr. 
I'm a high rank of the of the big part of Logia. And I need that big of right now. Yes. No man, no. You can't have my people. Even if you are a corrupt high rank of oh, You're a bully. The merchant called the officials. They sent me to the court to face the Lugnag Queen. Who are you? How do you trespass in my court? I can't see you here. Ma'am, I am God. Hey, sir. Before you talk, where is that person? Hey, shit up, Diva. Hey. Let him go. Good queen, I am gone. I was lost and made leave me. I was desperate to go home. I went through a lot of problems. I found these kids who are called Lilliputians. Then I arrived at this dull place full of businessmen who call themselves Barbing Naggers. Then I found myself lost to this place called Laputa and Bali Barbie, where everyone is so much smarter than me, but it seems stupid. Then I went to Lugnag and tried to go home, but there were no available vehicles at that time. So I came to Lugdub Rift and met this governor, who can summon the dead. Then I came here again, without any money to buy a vehicle, so I tried to disguise myself. I'm sorry, Queen. I was ashamed of my actions. Yes, my Queen. It's Gulliver. And I was lost. Didn't you hear? Oh, maybe you can come later to my party and hold the invitation. Um, I'll introduce you to the star. Here is her invitation. Hey, you two, let him go. Don't you press charges to me anymore. You can go now, my friend. Thank you, my queen. See you later. At the party. Thank you, Patricia. Um, I heard that you you are the 
most richest, the richest family in this land. Oh, if I would be that rich, I would buy all the books, scrolls, my own mansion, chandeliers. Man, I would dream to become <laughs> If only you were as rich as ours, you would understand the problem we have. What problem? Damn it. <laughs> yes, our problem of being rich is not being able to buy happiness. There are so many things to buy and so many friends to gain. But all of these are only fake. The things merely give us short-term happiness while the friends we have are... Backbiting snakes, so only one what we have. We supported them. We fed them. But what have they done? They fed us. So, what we deserve? That's so. Gosh, I never imagined that there would be a lot of problems. It was so selfish for me to say those things. No problem, brother. You won't know. You don't know what it means to be filthy rich. One word of advice. Trust the right Oh, Mr. Gulliver! So how was the talk with the Strugbergs? Huh? Well, even though they were rich, I never thought they would have miserable lives. Oh yes, it's been a common misconception of the Strugbergs. Being rich does not really guarantee to be happy. Um, but you know what? It's really a good thing that we have these Strugbergs in our town. It's because of them that all these other people live their lives content because they know that money can buy everything. Um, well, now I need to go home and yet I don't have the knowledge oh. or the vehicle to get to go. Oh yeah. Um, don't worry about that. I can give you a gift of a motorcycle and uh, and the whole map of the land, so you know, to help you get your way back home. Really? Yeah. Thank you, my queen. Uh, I really appreciate what you did. Don't mention that. Gulliver, it was really nice meeting you and having you here in our kingdom. Um, so, here is Alvin. He's the best rider in all the food nag. It's easier to take you to this ride. So, be safe, my friend. Thank you, Goodbye. my queen, and pleasure meeting you. Let's do it, homie. Bye! Bye, Gulliver! <laughs> the Lugnug queen gave me her gift, and I followed the map she had given me. But it was written in strange symbols, so I didn't know where it would take me. And when I thought I had the mot motorcycle for myself, the rider told me that it was just a rental, and she would bring it back to Lugnag. And I eat the Japanese food with this fine Japanese guy. And yes, the food is really delicious.
As I followed what the old guy told me, I reached a land filled with grass and found people. Well, not really people, but horses, standing upright and com communicating. We call them Williams. Sounds like Ruben. No, they're horses. Instead, they act like humans. They're intelligent horses. We have civilization. Better than the human civilization itself. I barely escaped from being raped by a Yahoo. <laughs> this is human, I remember. <coughs> Although I hate seeing myself as a human after seeing these so-called Yahoos. The Huynims call them Yahoos. For me, they were humans back then. But when they explained what they were to me, I kind of hated being one of them. Or at least look like that. Mm. Okay, Mr. Godiver. I believe that that's all of your tales for now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see each other later. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Godiver. But I believe your husband is now medically, mentally disabled. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> can't do anything about it. But I believe after a month of rehab, he might be healthy again.
Dead people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>